what if the definition we were given for the Turing test of a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or indistinguishable from that of a human, what if that was just the cover story? And even the experiment, the test of the Turing test, where you have people in a room on one side that are taking the test, and on the other side, you have some people and some just computers, and it's up to the contestants to figure out, to determine, to make the evaluation of whether or not they're talking to a real person or not, to figure out what exactly is artificial intelligence. What if all of that was just the cover story for people to just philosophize about. But the true reason Alan Turing came up with the Turing test was that even in the 30s, the 1930s, he figured out that there were NPCs everywhere. And he wanted to figure out a set of techniques to determine who's an NPC and who isn't. And maybe not even NPCs, maybe it went as far as to figure out who's under electromagnetic mind control or whatever techniques. I think the Turing test is deeper than what we were given. One of the examples is the movie Ex Machina, Ex Machina. That's kind of like a 21st century version of the Turing test, but even that still is leading you to figure out like, okay, what really is intelligence? Are humans even intelligent? Because there's many people you encounter that you wonder, I don't know if I could actually teach this person something. I don't know if this person's grasping or even has the capacity to grasp the concept. So that's my take. What do you think? Do you think the Turing test was just what they said it was, just an experiment to figure out in this new age of computers what exactly is intelligence? Or perhaps Alan Turing figured out that not every human being he encountered was a real life conscious human being. Anyway, see you next time.